Hey there guys, happy Saturday to you and thank you so much for clicking on this video and for choosing me to spend this time with. This is my channel Once Upon a Nursery and I am Tamara, head weirdo, top dog and your host as always. And today is my tag, Sun Dolly Sunshine Saturday, where you can put your baby in any color, any pattern, any, any, anything, and either you can tell why it makes you happy or you can just dress your baby in it and we will assume that outfit makes you really happy. Moxie and Stella. <laughs> Calm down now. <laughs> it's all for show. So today for my tag, I have with me my sweet gorgeous little Elliot Lux this is little Elliot and she has this her pacifier little Elliot she is an Amazon baby and I love her so much in her little face she's so cute and this is her lovey this is Clementine and he is a big old fat cat with a big old booty that's right he said yeah I am my name is Clementine. Yeehaw. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so let me show you what I have for little Miss Elliot today. I have this cute little bow. It's like a like a orchid color, like a light orchid, sort of. And then I have these little socks that have a unicorn and butterflies on them. And they're white with trimmed and pale pink. And it's just the unicorn's head with his eyes and then the butterflies. And then this little outfit was sent to me by Cheryl at Kylayla's Precious Ones. And it's a zero to three month pat pat outfit. And it is white and it has pink and green clouds and rainbow rain and rainbows and a unicorn. You can see that. It's very, very cute. This little outfit makes me so happy because it's got rain on it. And I love rain and I would love for it to rain some more. So <laughs> it's been a while since it's rained here and I'm just absolutely just craving the rain. I just, I want it to rain like so much. So I just like, ah, come on, rain. <laughs> All right, so I have something, uh, unfortunately, very serious to talk to you guys about today. Something that happened to me over the weekend. Not just to me, but it happened to Cheryl as well. And Cheryl has asked me to share this on my channel so that none, this doesn't happen to any of you. Because uh, we certainly don't want this to happen again. So, um, as you guys know, Cheryl has been downsizing her collection and she has been giving me several dolls of hers that she no longer felt a connection with. Um, the last doll of her collection that she had to send me was a doll named Georgie. And you can go to her Instagram and see Georgie if you like. Um, he was the last doll that Cheryl had to send me as, you know, as part of her downsizing. And she mailed him out. It takes two days for the mail to get from Cheryl to me. Uh, there has been a couple times it's taken two or three days. That's no big deal. That doesn't matter. That's not even really part of what I'm saying. But um, anyways, so Friday afternoon, my package arrived from Cheryl. And the, the uh, postal carrier put it right directly in my hand. It was not sitting out anywhere on my porch or anything. I literally was outside when it arrived and we exchanged hand to hand. So I noticed the box looked a little funny. It was taped weird, but I was, I didn't think anything about it, you know? So I brought the package inside. I actually did a box opening, but when I opened the box, there was no Georgie. Now Cheryl had said that she was going to send me some boy clothes along with him because I was I hadn't decided if I was going to make him a boy or, or keep him a boy or make him a girl. And I do have 
another boy in my nursery, which is Denzel. And so stuff that he would, it would fit Denzel too if I decided to keep Georgie or make Georgie a girl. So yes, there was, she had said that she was going to send me some outfits. So I opened the box and all that was in the box was three little outfits and a little fox lovey. And I was like, oh, okay, well maybe this is the extra outfits that she was going to send. But I, I felt very confused because she said that she sent me Georgie. So I know she did. I was like, okay, well, he'll probably just arrive tomorrow or something. So I sent her a message and I was joking around and I was like, hey, did you uh, maybe forget to uh, put somebody in the box? You know, I was just kidding because I thought it, this was... Just some clothes that she was sending me. Just some little happy mail, you know? And she messaged me back, and no, that wasn't an extra happy mail. That was the happy mail. Somebody opened up the box and took Georgie out. There were several things in the box. She had a, a card in there for me, like she usually does. But she had a card in the package for me. Um, Georgie was wrapped, if you're familiar with my box openings from Cheryl or any of our other Dolly Sisters box openings from Cheryl, she always sends a crocheted blanket that she made with her own two hands. But, um, so Georgie was wrapped in a blanket that she made and there was several outfits plus a lovey and a card. And so this, whoever did this, um... Yeah, they took Georgie and the blanket and the card and sealed the box back up and it only had two small little packages in it. And I thought it was kind of weird because of the cost of the postage for it. And then um, that it was so light because I was like, this box is really light to have a doll in it, you know? So yes, so within the postal service, some postal worker stole my doll that Cheryl sent me. Well, I mean, it was still her doll till it got to me, you know, but yes. So it, and she did have, she did have insurance on the package, but that doesn't mean that we're going to get Georgie back. That just means that she will get her money back for the shipping. But, um, she and I were pretty upset about it and she went to her post office and told them about it and they said that I needed to that I needed to uh, call my post office and investigate on my end and I'm like okay so I get on the phone to call the only number that I can get for the post office is a 1-800 number which is the uh, USPS customer care number and after about 20 minutes of being led here and there and all over the place by the automated thing, I found out that I have to file the claim online from the website. So then I go to the website. It takes me another 10 minutes to figure out how to even file a claim. And when I get there and I read it over, it says that the person who has the original USPS receipt is the one that has to file the claim. And I do not have that. Cheryl does. And I'm like, this man at the post office did not know what he was talking about. So if you guys have any suggestions that you would like to give people to help make their packages more safe, my ideas for one thing are to take stickers and tape wherever the box comes together, the flaps, to put stickers all along the flap on the sides and along the, just wherever the flaps come together, put stickers all over the place, then tape up your box. And if it's somebody that knows they're getting happy mail from you, take a picture of the box and send it to them. And if the stickers are cut, then you know somebody was in your box and you can just say, nope, somebody was in this box. The stickers are cut, you know, and take care of it right away. Um, what was another thing I had said? Um, trying to think here. Well, of course, get insurance on your package. Um, yeah, I can't really think of, because I had told Cheryl a couple things. Oh, yes, just, yes, okay, it was taking a picture of the box and sending it to the person, or just take a picture of the box and keep it for yourself. It's If it's a surprise, and then once the person gets the happy mail, you know, you can send them the picture to make sure the box looked right. 
But yeah, so I think the sticker thing would really help if, to put the stickers along the flaps of the box and then tape it up. And I would even do it on the bottom part of it too. Oh, if there's, if it's a box that you're reusing, I would peel off any excess tape, any tape that has already been cut, peel that tape off of there and put fresh tape. So there's no, because if there's a bunch of tape on there that's already been cut, and then you tape the box and somebody else cuts it open and puts another piece of tape on there, it's not gonna look weird, you know? But if you peel off all the tape and then put stickers on there and then tape it, it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to tamper with it. So we're working on getting this thing reported to the post office because this is a federal crime. Tampering with the mail is a federal crime and this was done by a federal employee. So. I want this matter taken care of yesterday because this is crap. Somebody stole a doll. You know what I mean? All right. So unfortunately, we have no idea where Georgie is. We do hope that he does come back to us. And I hope that uh, the right actions will be taken to punish the person who decided to be so evil and so cruel. So, because, I mean, yes, I'm an adult and I can get over this, but what if that was a child's birthday gift? What if that was to a child and the child just receives basically nothing because their gift has been stolen by an adult who's a jerk? You know? So, if you guys have any more tips on helping to keep your packages more safe or make them more safe without it being a high, high price... You know, please list those in the comments below. If I think of anything else to help, I will pin it in the comments for you guys. So just be aware that the thieves aren't necessarily in your neighborhood or running around somewhere in your town. The thief can be at a post office in another town in another state. So just be aware of that. Not all of our postal workers are honest, unfortunately. So that is it for that. Um... Yeah, just uh, beware and be cautious. And I know probably some of you have already experienced this and went through this as well. So if you'd like to share your experience down in the comments below, or even if you have a channel, if you want to make your own video about your own experience that you've had with an item getting stolen out of a box like that by a postal worker, please share that story with us. Um, I guess go ahead and, and just tag my channel. That way I'll know. And, I'll, and you can just put in the title something about you know, s s missing, uh, missing mail or something like that. So I'll know that the video is about the mail and I can go watch it or whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I guess if you want to tell your own story, just go ahead and just tag me in it so I can go see it too. Cause I'd really, I'm really interested in to see how you handled it and to see what happened and what the post office did, to be honest with you. So really wondering, <laughs> but Elliot is all completely done now for today, guys. So I'm going to hold her up so that you can see her a little closer. There's her butt. Why every time Moxie? She, it's just for show. She's not serious. <laughs> They've never been in a real fight ever. Anyways, so there's her purple bow. And there's her outfit from Auntie Cheryl. And her little unicorn sockies. Oh, so cute. I love her in this little outfit. And there she is, dressed for my hashtag, Dolly Sunshine Saturday. I love it so much. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and listening to the story of Woe from the USPS. Unfortunately. But the gift was sent with love. And even though I didn't receive it, I did receive the love that she sent. <laughs> so thank you so much, Cheryl, for... Even though he didn't get to arrive, I appreciate you sending me, Georgie. And I would have loved him with all of my heart. You know that. So I'll leave a link to Cheryl's channel in my description. And I guess that's it for us today, guys. So please consider hitting that like and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a video. Comments and sharing are always welcome. And you are always welcome to do my tags over on Instagram. And I will leave a link to my Instagram in my description. So from me and Elliot, 
We love you so, so much. And we will see you guys later. Be on the lookout for her short video. Bye, guys.